Canadian photographer Jeff Wall was born in Vancouver in 1946. He studied at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver in 1970 and received a master's degree in art. He studied for a doctorate in art history at Courtauld College in London from 1970 to 1973 and served as a doctor of art history from 1976 to 1987. During his PhD, he has been asking himself, as an artist, how do artists like Goya and Monet create works of art with strong imprints? What kind of artistic style is the most representative era in contemporary times? The answer he has been seeking for is the use of fluorescent light boxes to show his own photography, a common way of communication in contemporary business societies. But in the hands of Wall, this is a new artistic style, as he said. This is not photography, film, painting or propaganda. Although it combines the qualities of all these things, his work Destroyed Room was created in 1978 based on the 1827 De La Croix painting, The Death of Saldana's Palos. When I first saw his photo, I didn't immediately think of the oil painting below. This mystery can only be seen through careful observation and analysis. In fact, Jeff is not the only contemporary artist chose the classical painting, but he is the most unique artist. In this work, Wall did not use a character, the size reached 2 times 3 meters. The picture was a deliberately destroyed room, scattered clothes and jewelry, slashed mattress, deliberately overturned furniture and torn wallpaper. There is violence behind the scenes. The small sculpture of a dancer in the closet alone, miraculously intact, seems to imply a desire in a disaster. In terms of form, there is no similarity with the original. But the violent bedroom is used to express the cruel picture. Even the bed was broken, and it was obvious that the murderer was deliberately ruined. The bed red was used on a large wall which also exacerbated the bloody and violent levels of the entire atmosphere. However, when we were immersed in the imagination of violence and sex created by Jeff Wall, we found that the door on the left side of the photo did not even have a door frame. A few wooden strips was placed there with paint marks on the edges. All of these evidence shows it's just a specially built studio. He tells us in this hidden and obvious language that all this is the illusion created by photographers. Another work, 1999. The Invisible Man of R.A.L.P. Ellison, Prelude, inspired by the American novel Invisible Man of the 1950s, photographed a black man sitting alone in the basement. 1369 bulbs in the room illuminating the darkness of the darkness and warmth the audience did not feel the slightest joy but the loneliness and loneliness that swept through. On the contrary, it is the loneliness and desolateness that swept through. The characters in the photo persuaded their presence with extraordinary light. This is a psychological comforting effect that can offset the setbacks and uneasiness in real life. In his own way, he reproduces the situation of blacks in American society. Wall's choices include violence, poverty, race, gender and social class. The reproduction of history and memory often occurs in his works.